Hey everyone, this is Sal Congeloso from Geek.com. I'm here with the Quickfire Rapid Eye keyboard from Cooler Master. It's a new mechanical keyboard and it's uh, got some really cool features that I want to run through, uh, in particular the LED backlighting. The, uh, we're in a darkened room so you can get a really good look at the keyboard. It is a 10 keyless keyboard so there's no number pads. You're actually seeing basically the whole thing right now. And uh, yeah, so the LED backlighting is on. And this comes in a whole bunch of different modes and, and features, so I kind of want to just run through some of them so you can get an idea of what the keyboard can do. It's $140, which is uh, kind of pricey for a keyboard like this with cherry blue switches. So uh, what you're paying for is that LED lighting, so I wanted to uh, run through that stuff. First of all, the uh, LED lighting is on now. Uh, this is in the normal, just on mode, so full keyboard. And what you could do is holding the function key you could bring this level up and down. Right now it's in the lowest level, and now it's at the highest level of brightness, and there's five levels. So this is five, four, three, two, one. And then, obviously it's not going down anymore. By pressing F1, you can turn the keyboard on and off. And it's really responsive, which is cool, so you can just go as fast as you want. Then uh, to change the modes, we'll go into hit the uh, function F4. So uh, now it is in breathing mode. And this is when it sort of pulses in and out. There you go. So it's pulsing in and out from high brightness to low brightness. And let's see if we could lower the brightness. And anyway, you can see it pulsing. So there you go. Now hit function F4 again. And now it's off. But when I click, you can see that uh, each key individually lights up. And it only lights as long as the key is pressed. You can't see my finger there, but you can see that it is lighting up when I'm pressing it and when I'm not holding my finger over it, the key. Hit that function again, F4 one more time, and now I'm in Press, you know, same sort of press mode, but now there's a fade. And it's about maybe a second, a second and a half fade. So it's really cool. And I would say this is like by far uh, the coolest mode on this keyboard and kind of why I would pick it up, even though it is quite uh, cool otherwise. Then we have the next mode, and this is gamer mode. Right now I have my, it's hard to see, but my WASD keys and my uh, arrow keys are lit up. And then obviously there's off, and, but anyway, now I'm back in just the normal all-on mode. The last thing I wanted to run through in this video is the profiling. So what you could do is you could customize the keys that you want lit up uh, to you basically press one of the buttons, it's F9 through F12, record which buttons you want to be lit up, and then when you go back to that memory, back to that setting, they're still lit, and there's four of those. So I'll hit function, F9, and now I'm in what I set as my first, you know, my M1. Function F2, uh, sorry, function F10, now I switch over, and I just programmed this set over here. I could have programmed my name or whatever. And then I just did this so they're in order. So I could do that. And when it's uh, what I can do, and say I go function F12, or F11 rather, now I could actually toggle the brightness too. So you can combine some of these functions, uh, you know, to some extent. So like when I'm in gamer mode, I can make the WASD brighter or less bright. But anyway, so yeah, that's a quick run through of the Quickfire Rapid Eye keyboards LED functions. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or uh, subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.